I'm Dr. Melody Herman, the Regional Anesthesia Section Editor for Open Anesthesia. In this instructional video, we'll cover the Intermediate Cervical Plexus Block. The Intermediate Cervical Plexus Block consists of injecting local anesthetic deep to the investing fascia and superficial to the prevertebral fascia. We want to be at the C4 level when we perform this block. As we scan cephal out at the neck, we can see the shadow of each transverse process come into view. It sort of looks like a teacup. We see each nerve root dive into its respective transverse process. When we arrive at the C4 level, notice that the carotid artery bifurcates. We can therefore use the bifurcation of the carotid artery to approximate the C4 level. At the C4 level, Level, we see the C4 transverse process, sternocleidomastoid muscle, and levator scapulae muscle. Posterior to the sternocleidomastoid muscle, we have the investing fascia, and superficial to the levator scapulae muscle, we have the prevertebral fascia. Our aim with the intermediate approach is to place local anesthetic in between these two fascial layers. This will result in analgesia of the anterior lateral neck as well as the anterior auricular and retroauricular areas. 